Okay, so th this thing is named after me now, apparently. Where did where did the where did the it's not explain where these characters go after each game ends. Also, I know I actually have a shadow, which is especially weird considering the other ones don't. I'm not more impressed that my character has a shadow than theirs do. Well, than I would be by theirs if they did. For that matter, is there any dynamic shading in this level in this Murray Colonist environment on screen right now, other than the one coming from me. I guess having totally baked shadows isn't unusual for a game world, especially if you're on a weak system like the Wii or an older system like the Xbox, but... And I guess I, I guess after the second DS child, I was expecting more impressed by the visuals, but um, of course there's impressive from like a artistic standpoint, there's impressive from a technical standpoint. Um, Drawn to Life Next Chapter DS was more from the artistic standpoint than the uh, than the technical one, I think. But this so I'm not feeling as much visually either. But maybe it's just maybe the simpler art style will up to me. We'll see. I think this game could actually play pretty well with just the Wii Remote, but no. Oh. Okay, we can get the credits immediately. Alright, so there's still a 2D side scrolling platform here. Kind of 2.5D now, I guess. More like. I think that's Koki off on the right. Why do you see the button to do everything? In point of the screen, I don't know if that's going to be useful for anything. I can draw. Okay. Wait, what? So I can draw that thing right now. What in the world? Because presumably, I don't know if that's very useful right now. So I can point the screen and draw now. The buttons only have an effect when I'm pointing at that particular part of the screen. So recently I need to draw these things first before I can go anywhere. I guess draw this thing and draw that thing. I can go up to the right and maybe there will be some utility to the that red thing on the right. Otherwise I don't think I can get up there. I could swear I've heard this double jump sound before. But I don't think I... Even if I got clever, I'd be able to climb up there. It's a stamp I see. Not something I especially want, to be honest. I see waste. I just can't talk to you. Is that Bucky Beard or, or what? Lighthouse is here. It's not the one I drew, but. Hey, there's gonna be just lots of things that, uh. Need to be drawn later. I'm curious how I know when these have been drawn. And it's an interesting idea that things just have to be drawn for you to progress here. Oh, they got lives again. Okay, whatever. We'll see how much it actually matters once we see what it's like in this game trying to uh, platform and whatnot. Oh, is it time to draw another terrible sign for Cookie? Oh. No, Cookie doesn't have any opinions. Can't talk to Joey either. Was Joey on the box for this game this time? Maybe it wasn't. Hello. Is that just a really common stock sound for Double Jumps or something? Because I, I, I'm certain I've heard that somewhere, but I, I almost feel like I've heard it lots of places. Like you usually can't back out once the game says, hey, draw this thing. Of course, this time I walked up to an easel to interact with it anyway, so it kind of makes sense. This is a very wide sign. Okay. I think I'll do something kind of similar to last time. <coughs> Sorry. Um. I don't have any good, like, wood colors to use this time. I 
gonna be a weird color to use, I feel like. Yeah, let's go with this one. I think one issue here, though, is that this uh, sign is so long. But, like, I haven't been getting any motivation to draw this sign yet. It's kind of weird. It's just like, you can draw this thing now. Like, in the first game, I'd at least be introduced to Cookie at that point and whatnot. It's weird to me that I can't just go down and talk to Cookie and have him say, Hey, draw this thing for me, please. It's an especially weird contrast to the game being really, uh... really funny about encouraging you to draw something bad for Cookie in the first game. It's not even going to do anything to work with is a uh, huge contrast. Okay. So I can at least do a little bit of A little bit of something like this. No, not like that. I think usually one column has the same hue, roughly, but I think this bottom color has a different feeling hue than the two above it. Okay. I need to do something kind of like last time. But it's a lot longer, so maybe this time we need to do like... some extra space here. There we go. Maybe just for some finer detailing. I haven't made up my mind yet on whether or not to start trying different brush sizes. I do kind of like the, the uniform brush with helping with the crudeness of the style. But at the same time, um, sometimes I want to do a uh, Make my shading a little bit smaller or something. I think it'll look a bit more like this is actually like a uh, something like thickly painted on. That actually reflects light on its own right or something. Weird to me not getting asked 
to confirm when I hit OK. But very nice. Actually, looks surprisingly fitting in the game world compared to... Yeah, I don't feel... Maybe part of it is my art style here, but I don't feel like there's such a jarring effect seeing a character and drawings in the world in this game as compared to the predecessors. Um, the softer art style might be part of that, too. And also the less detailed art style of the game proper, too. That was a big part of it. The game had such detailed art in the previous titles that... Uh, Anything that you could draw always looked incredibly... I, I, yeah, anything you could draw, particularly with the palette limitations and whatnot, always looked comparably really... Shadow City. Okay, that's just the door we've got here. Just like bleeding ooze. Why can't I go to Creation Hall? But, um... Anything you made always would look really crude by comparison. Which, I don't think there's anything wrong with the stuff that you draw having a distinct... Aesthetic, but there are other times that, like, what you drew get put in right beside things. Okay, no. Why can't I talk with people? Should I want to get, get to know people? You know, sometimes yourself get put right next to, like, official art in the game. Like, you get asked to color a building or something. And at that point, like, okay, you can't make it look natural, no matter what you do. Oh, I never looked at the, the template for the... Oh, jeez. I never looked at the template for the... sign. Oh, well. What color did they use for their... use for that? Hold on. Oops. Let me keep that for a second. What color are you? Those are really good looking browns, but where are you from? No? Do I have access to those colors? Or is the game just being ridiculous and using colors I don't have access to? I don't think I have access to those. That is really weird. But what I can do then, I guess, is I... I can take these colors. Oh, okay, hold on. Okay, so I can take these colors. Now, at least for now, this won't help me in other drawings. But I can make a little palette. Myself to use here. That's ridiculous though, if you, I mean, I'm being really silly if these are actually colors that I can use that I just haven't uh, managed to find. And it's right in front of me. Or maybe there, there is a palette that's available that I just don't have unlocked yet or something, I don't know. But if uh, the game really is just using colors that I'm not allowed to, to have, it's kind of ridiculous. But at least I can, I can't hold the, the D-pad, that's annoying, to keep moving the... Jeez, stop! You can't hold the D-pad to keep moving the, the brush size. What are you doing? That's not where I'm pointing. Dude, nothing has changed. Like, there's nothing between me and the sensor bar or anything. It does make me admit that such a small portion of the game screen is actually dedicated towards drawing. I feel like it should be a lot more. Like, why is the whole thing basically 4-3? Like, why are the, the margins all unused here? I'm trying to point at them. My god! 
in here and what is going on? What in the... I can't point to the right. Is something covering up the sense bar in the slightest? Oh, that's probably the prompt that I was looking for. There, and I have a lamp on behind the thing. Is that what's messing it up? I'm not get Can I see anything now? Hold on. Where's my cursor? Oh, now it's completely lost my remote. What? Um. Give me a second. Where are we? There we go. Well, it hasn't really resolved entirely, but the remote's working again. Yeah, I don't. I had a lamp that was on behind the sensor bar, which was making me wonder, huh? Is there infrared from the lamp that's messing it up? Oh, now, now it's working. Just as I was saying that, it didn't seem to be working. I see. If I go far enough to the right, there's a problem. I don't know why. Because the lamp's off now. But anyways. Um, I could make the glass bridge again, actually. I just wanted to be silly. Instead of making another wooden bridge. I just thought to myself, oh, hey, I have wood now. That would be really nice to, to utilize. I kind of want to utilize the wood now that I have it anyways. The nice wood colors. Just uh, just because I, I happen to, to have what the game didn't want me to have. Let's do something kind of like... This along the way. I don't know if all that supports or not, I might. Hopefully this isn't something you just like stand on top of. Hopefully you sink into it a decent amount. Because I'm not super close up to the top of it. That is one issue with the style. It tends to discourage being really close like up against the uh, borders. But when that's used for collisions, that'll be a problem. For gameplay purposes. now. So far I'm just drawing every single thing with this one aesthetic. Hopefully soon I'll get more, uh, to draw other things I feel a bit more inspired to do other kinds of styles with, but we'll have to see. Why does it have to be so alias compared to the game encouraging you to use such soft brushes otherwise? Okay, and, um... 
I'm gonna fix up the shape a little bit here. Okay. Um, just gonna get rid of this chunk here so I can redraw it. And now, um, something that I think will help a lot with the with the look. Maybe if I can start adding some. <laughs> My God! Kind of like these. That feels a little too angled. Not really making it line up with the uh, edges on the left and right like I really should, but these things are roughly evenly spaced. Kind of like that. Um, should probably also be going down here as well. gaps between the... <laughs> My god! I'm not sure I should have used the darkest color for... for the gaps on the top, too. I'm, sorry, I'm thinking you guys shouldn't have. I mean, I should have instead used this color. Something more like that. I can just do it over top like this, and uh, uh, still have the darker color there, but um, you do at least get a little bit of a mitigating effect. I don't know if there's any kind of highlight that would even make sense to do here. I haven't used the brightest color, I don't think, or anything, but I would, at least this would, I imagine, to be fairly matte. So, could like kind of try to do that, but I think no, oh, that's gonna work very well. Yeah, maybe it's something. It's it is funny to me if you're told that the top left thing is a bridge. I feel like you can kind of see what how how it's working here. Even though it's uh, very, very crude. It's really just a mess of scribbles. Okay, we are progressing the game very slowly so far. My apologies for that, but there is drawing happening. Kind of a high density of drawing things so far, because is what really what's happening. Which isn't too surprising, I think. Oh, well, I tried. <laughs> Yeah, well, oh well. So this is not like the predecessor where you actually get to, or not like John Delive Next Chapter DS where you actually do sync a bit into the 2D things. I guess that makes some sense since in the 3D environment it can be kind of weird to have you sync into the 2D thing, but uh, it is annoying. Uh, so I guess I'll have to draw 2D things, I'll have to draw things in profile again now. There's so many things to draw, it's quite interesting. This place is so big, but not dense. So we're passing so much stuff up in here. Like they're they're very deliberately bringing me through the the whole town here. Okay, I also cannot get up there right now. Heather, Heather's still looking like Heather. Although I feel like they swapped her darker side. Anyways. Next time, I promise, Heather and Barks. Fantastic.